I love her to death. I love my wife to death. We're accusing each other of infidelity, just not being able to trust one another. I think my wife is cheating because I just see like her following guys on social media or she's just been going out a lot and staying out like she stayed over her family's house supposedly and her family really doesn't approve of me. Like her family wanted her to marry a yuppie or church guy. Before our one year anniversary, we separated. Like she was dating somebody else, so I started to date somebody else. And then we worked things out and we just got back together. I started accusing her of cheating right after we got back together because I just didn't trust her. Like it was so easy for her to move on. And for me, it was like, like you say you love me so much, but you just leave me that quick and move on that quickly. It made me feel like she didn't really love me or appreciate me like she said she did. She says she's had sex with one other guy in her whole entire life, but I just don't believe it. I hope she passes her lie detector because I really feel like I wanna work this, things out with her and I'm really hoping that we could get back to where we first started when we met each other. Well, the way I proposed to her was I had a ring pop, like I'm, I'm poor, like I'm not the richest guy or nothing like that, but like I cared about her a lot and she knows I really do like love her it's from the bottom of my heart and I just proposed to her with a ring pop because I felt like it was something goofy because we were always goofy with each other and really extremely sentimental. And I even saved a rapper from like years ago, like all our movie ticket stuff, everything that she's basically ever given to me, even a little notes and stuff like that I always keep. I also took a test to prove that I only slept with one other girl during our separation and nobody else. I really do care about her. A lot of people always doubt my love towards her and a lot of people always think that I really don't love her when and honestly she means the most to me in the world to me. Uh, Melanie, why did you call the show? Because my marriage is hell. I get accused of cheating every single day. He doesn't trust me even if I say I'm going to go sleep over my cousin's house. He just thinks it's because I just have to be cheating. He doesn't believe anything I tell him. I feel like he just has problems trusting anyone, even outside of me. He doesn't trust anyone at all. So you guys separate, but then you get back together. Yes. But I take it things haven't been that great since you got back together? At first, it wasn't so bad, but you know, he's still accusing me. He's still thinking I'm talking to other people. He doesn't believe I've only slept with two people in my yeah. life. When we were separated, you know, I've only slept with him. So I only had him as, you know, in my entire life that I've been with. And I did um, date one other person, and he did date one other person as well. While you guys were separated? Yes, while we were separated. But I was very honest, and I let him know. Outside of that, I haven't with any other man. Right. Now, you, you, you told my producers that your husband drinks every day, right? Yeah, almost every day, yeah. And do you believe that's affecting your marriage? Yes, it changes the way that... You know, our relationship works, a lot of arguments, especially when he's drunk, he definitely accuses me. When he more. drinks every day, does he get drunk every day? Um, it's to the point where he can't stand straight, you know, or even so go up drunk. the stairs, yeah. You gotta get tired of that, yeah. right? When you ask him, do you ever say, hey, can you not drink every day? Yeah, I have. I've told him, you know, it's, it's for your health, and you know, it's not, for me, it's just like, I can't deal with this forever. Right. So it's like you have to change. Like even just love yourself as an individual to want to be better. Uh, when he's drinking, how does he treat you? Um, we definitely don't get along. Right. You know, he immediately is like, you know, one time I was sitting in the kitchen, he just snatches my phone out of my hand because he just wanted to go through it. Like, and he was drunk already. So I like took it back because I was like, listen, I'm not about to go through this right now. You know, you're probably just gonna find something, whatever you want to find, to argue about it. And it's just like, once I know he gets there, I just kind of keep my distance. Does he call you names? Um, he has. What kind of names does he call you? While he was drunk, in the middle of an argument, he has called me a whore. Um, he did call me a bitch once. And um, he did let me know that he hated me. And he just feels like I'm not really there for him. But you are? Yeah. Why do you stay in this? You don't have kids, do you? No. Why do you, I mean, you're a young, beautiful woman, 22. Why stay in a marriage that, you know, has not got off to a good start at all? Well, we're like best friends. I feel like if we could get to where we used to be, when it wasn't accusations or But you know what, that's, that, that's one of the most difficult things, I think, of all the years I've done this show and even back on Springer Days, when people say, if we could only get back to where we used to be, which is almost impossible sometimes, you can't really go back to a time and have it be exactly the same 
That's never going to happen. How am I supposed to trust you when it was so easy for you to move on and for you to get, I got your name tattooed on my neck and like, you was texting this guy when you was living with me and right after you left, it was so easy for you to link up with him and chill with him and do all this. I had to find out for somebody else when I was on a trip to New York doing business with my so friends or whatever. So how do you think I felt that you just kicked me out because you thought I was cheating, because you thought I was talking to someone? Really? How do you think that made me feel that you could just throw you me You were not there for me. Like, how am I supposed to be there for somebody that's not there me. for me? Like, I can't trust you. I don't trust nobody. What do you expect from me? Like, so you blaming no, me because you can't trust but nobody? But you be, you be trying to look for attention from other people behind my back. You be trying to go and ask your exes behind my back like how does that make me feel i'm a person that i haven't trusted nobody since i was a child and for you to be doing all this stuff behind my back that makes my trust issues even worse do you do you trust your wife to a certain extent well that's not an answer like no i don't trust nobody i'm gonna be real with you like i got a lot of trust issues i want to trust her like right. i i really do but if you can't if you can't trust her um and 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 i'll say this to be in a marriage, I think trust is the number one thing, right? You got to have that. I mean, love, of course, but you got to have trust, yeah. right? And if you don't trust her, which maybe you have good reasons not to trust her, why do you stay in it? Because you, you guys did break apart. You're both very young. You, you know, this isn't a 20-year relationship. You've been married for a couple of years. Why don't you just say, well, I can't trust her, I'm out. What about the drinking? What about it? She's concerned that you drink every day and that you get drunk a lot. Yeah. And let me, you know, I had my own issues with drinking. Let me tell you, it's a slippery slope, right? And, you know, mine came much later in life. You're a young guy. That's, that's kind of dangerous that to be so young. And wouldn't you say, maybe you have a little problem with alcohol? Yeah. Yeah. You got to get a grip on that fast because if you keep drinking the way you're drinking every day, you will destroy every good thing in your life. Don't ever use any kind of substance to deal with issues that you have in your life because you can't, the only way you're gonna deal with them is by taking action and, and working through it. You know, to be honest, like, I'm a type of person, I feel like I would say I wanna fix it, but I know I'm an emotional wreck. Like, it's not like I could just be like, yeah, let's fix it. I know, I don't know how to control myself emotionally. Like, I don't, I don't know what to say to you, like, like. It would be really ironic. Do you know how many things I had to work through with you and you really think you're gonna say to me, oh, I don't know. I could have said I don't know to a lot of things and walked away and let you alone. Other than the one man since you got back together at AJ Ting, have you had any physical sexual contact with any other males besides you? She answered no. Have you had consensual sexual intercourse with more than two men in your entire life? She answered no. The results for those two questions came back the same, and it came back that your wife, Melanie, told the truth. <laughs> Salvi had confessed to sexual acts with four other women, including sexual intercourse with two women. And since being back together, he admits to sending and receiving nude photos and sexting. Was that while we were together, Steve? That was before, while you were separated. But since being back together, he admits to sending and receiving nude photos and sexting, which I guess is texting. That was when we first got back together, and you called me texting that girl. So then we went on to ask him, besides the four women you had sexual acts with, have you engaged in any other physical sexual contact with any other woman besides Melanie? He answered no, and he told the truth. Um, you know, does any, any wife want to hear that her husband's sending or receiving nude photos and, and sexting? No. And some people would say that's cheating. If you continue to drink and you don't make a decision in your life to change, to choose your marriage, to choose yourself, I'm going to go because I want to be happy and I deserve someone who makes me feel precious of a person who values me, who respects me, and sees me as the most beautiful thing to them. I'm just telling you, it's, it, she might stay with you for six months, another year, but the day's gonna come where she's gonna walk out that door. So you have to go home and say, what's important to me? Is it what's in this bottle or this can? or is it sitting right over there, all right? Good luck to you. Thank you.
when she confronted, did she say, are you gay? No, nah, she said... I'm